What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So about a year ago, I made a video showcasing my under $100 budget projector setup in my bedroom. To my surprise, it quickly became one of my most popular videos, and a ton of people really seemed to like what I did with it. Now, I've actually been rocking that same setup this whole time, and I've really enjoyed it. But as many of you guys pointed out in that video, while the projector itself was a pretty good deal, it wasn't the best on the market. It was less than 720p resolution, and overall just didn't offer a great view experience. So naturally, it's time to upgrade to something quite a bit better. Fortunately, projectors now have gotten really affordable, and I was actually able to make the jump to a projector with a native 1080p resolution while still keeping my wallet pretty happy. The one I went with is the GymTab M18. Right now, you can pick one up on Amazon for a penny under 250 bucks. Add in that $20 off coupon if it's still available, and you'll actually come in at under 230. And at that price, you get everything that you need. And of course, I'll include a link to this projector and everything else I mentioned in the setup down below in the video description if you want to check it out for yourself. The projector is an all-in-one setup with plenty of inputs, controls, options, and everything else you'd need to run a home theater setup, add it to a classroom or a lecture hall, maybe set up an outdoor movie, or whatever else you might need it for. I'll go over all the features of projector in just a minute, but for me personally, it offered more than enough to use in my bedroom. Like I explained in my first setup video, I wanted to go with a projector because I already have a really nice 4K TV in the living room. It's a 55 inch Sony Bravia, which I definitely enjoy. And it sounds kind of weird, but while I do like my living room setup, I didn't really want to just go with the same old thing in my bedroom. I also have this huge blank wall opposite my bed, and it's just too perfect not to utilize the entire surface area and create as big of a viewing experience as possible. In order to get the projector set up properly in my bedroom, I use this inexpensive IKEA shelf as sort of the base. It's the LAC shelf, and it's just big enough to hold the projector with the couple cables that run behind it, but I probably could have gone with a slightly wider shelf. I only used two cables for my setup, the power cable, obviously, for the projector, and one single extra long HDMI cable that runs all the way to my dresser that I use to hook up my cable box mostly, but also an Apple TV, Fire Stick, game console, or anything else when I'm in the mood. I carved out a really crude channel at the back of the shelf to allow the cables to run down and also added an IKEA cable channel to hide them, and I'm pretty happy with how it looks over overall. It's simple and clean, and for as long as I've had the shelf up, it hasn't yet fallen down on my head, so I think I did a pretty good job. The projector sits about 10 feet from the wall it's projecting onto, and at that distance I'm getting about a 90 inch screen. And actually, if you have the extra space to go bigger, you can project a 300 inch screen from about 30 feet back. Now the GymTab M18 has a ton of different input options for your media sources, including two HDMI ports, two USB ports, VGA, and an SD card slot. So naturally, you're able to connect everything from a laptop or a PC to a smartphone or a tablet, to a game console, to a streaming box, and everything in between. For audio, you've got an AV port and a headphone jack, but there's also a really solid built-in speaker that I'll demo in just a second. And let me just say that for an at-home setup, the built-in speaker is actually more than good enough to use. I was really surprised. On the projector itself, there's a whole bunch of button controls for selecting inputs and options on screen, but you don't have to worry about trying to use those controls on the projector because it does ship with this nice little remote that has all the controls you'll need anyway. And the remote is super responsive and easy to use, even from a pretty decent distance from the projector. So now now let's talk about the important stuff, the picture this projector puts out. Like I mentioned already, with the proper source, you're going to get a native 1920 by 1080p resolution at 5001 contrast ratio. The projector also supports 576i and p, 720i and p, and 1080i, but obviously we're aiming for the best possible resolution here. And you can see that we're really getting an excellent viewing experience. Like most projectors, you're going to get focus and keystone controls for adjusting the picture ever so slightly depending on your throw distance and angle. But besides that, you don't have to do anything at all in the realm of adjustments to get a solid picture going right out of the box. Up close, you're of course going to get some pixelation. After all, this is a 1080p screen at more than 90 inches, but from a normal viewing distance, in this case lying in my bed around 10 or so feet back, the picture quality is excellent. 
and you're really getting a sharp looking projection. You can of course make some color and profile adjustments. There are some different preset picture modes like movies, sports, vivid, and other options. And you can set up your own unique picture profile and image settings too. But overall, you're getting a bright and crisp picture from pretty much every angle. I'm almost always looking up from the bed towards the wall with the screen slightly higher than eye level. And the picture, even when I'm laying down, isn't distorted, faded, or noticeably different at all. And speaking of the brightness, this projector comes in at 4500 lumens, which obviously allows for an incredibly crisp and bright picture in the dark. Now my bedroom actually isn't totally pitch black. I do have basically a wall of windows along the left side that allow for the bright lights of Las Vegas to shine through. And while I could get some curtains or shades, I actually didn't find that necessary at all. And even with the lights turned on and during the day, you're going to be able to enjoy this projector, which I think is very impressive. Sure, there are definitely brighter projectors on the market, but even in a well-lit room, you're getting a pretty decent picture that's more than viewable. The LED lamp inside is good for 50,000 hours of use, so that's about 3-4 to four hours of on time for something like 15 years, certainly the kind of projector that should last for quite a long time. Now one thing that can really ruin a projector setup is the fan noise, and obviously you're going to know this thing is running. The fan noise is there of course, but overall I don't think it's actually all that distracting. And I say that mostly because this projector also has a built-in speaker, and I realized pretty quickly that just the built-in speaker alone on this thing is more than enough to enjoy in a room setup like this. I know it's kind of hard to get a good audio sample for YouTube, but here's just a couple of examples so you guys can get an idea of what you'll be hearing. Nitro school this week was interesting because not only did we have a traditional nitro school, we had a nitro Harley school to educate our fans on those incredible machines, which we will be seeing more of in a few minutes. Now let's check out our ladder in the pro stock category as we continue with coverage of the gasoline burning five speed equipped. Now you can, of course, hook up some external speakers and turn it into a true home theater setup. I added some external speakers to my last projector setup because the built-in ones were pretty bad. But with this, I'm actually very happy with how it sounds, and I don't currently have any plans on adding an external audio source anytime soon. One last thing to note, I obviously went with a very simple and straightforward sort of setup solution by just placing this projector on a shelf, but if you want to mount this from the ceiling, you can do that. It does have the threaded holes to do so, so you just have to get the screws and mount yourself separately. All in all, I think if you are in the market for a new projector, or maybe you just want to try one out for the first time, the GymTab M18 is a really excellent option. It's got all the features you could ask for at a great price, and nowadays I think you'll be disappointed if you go with anything less than 1080p anyway. For 250 bucks or so, this is a solid investment to jumpstart any home theater project. I'm certainly glad I went ahead and upgraded to a new set up here. I think it's perfect for what I need it for, and I certainly can't recommend it enough. So there you go. That's what I've done to upgrade my bedroom projector setup. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Definitely let me know what you think of my bedroom setup in the comments down below, and also feel free to suggest some other things I should use this space for too. Be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter, and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.